Whistler, Rocky Mountains, Canada, one of the most stunning and demanding skiing regions in the world. A perfect venue for staging the meeting of the world's best athletes with a disability. The Paralympic Games 2010. One of them is Tyler Walker. At his first games in 2006 in Turin, a sixth place in the giant slalom was his best result. This time in Whistler, now aged 23, he's one of the favorites for the podium. After being born with a spinal defect and having both legs amputated as a child, today sport for the American is a true elixir of life. When I put on a monoski, I feel like I am putting on a pair of legs almost. So it just allows me the freedom of mobility and the freedom to go really, really fast. Walker's coach and now teammate Chris Devlin Young recognized early on that Walker could become exceptionally fast. During a youth training program, he attempted to push 11 year old Tyler and another talented youngster to their limits. Well, I taught them a lot of drills, and one of the drills I taught them was follow the leader. And what I didn't tell them until years later was that I was trying to lose them, <laughs> and I never could. They stayed right with me the whole time. They were really fast, always. And his protege got faster and faster, learning also how to stay in control at speed. For a top-level sport, correctly judging your own capabilities is essential. You never want to be fearless because um, you can take unnecessary risks that way. I'm already at that level where I can control tons and tons of energy that looks like I'm out of control, but really I've taken a lot of calculations into account. It's undoubtedly his talent that makes Tyler Walker so successful, but also his irrepressible will, with which he has always mastered life challenges as if it were second nature. He's always just adapted to anything that he wanted to do. He figured out a way and tried to keep up best he could. And he played baseball with all the other kids and sled hockey and skiing. It was just a natural for him. Jim took a uh, children's sled and put my daughter's uh, cross-country skis on the bottom by drilling them in. And we would take him and just shoot him down the hill and... We kept making different sleds that he could use and uh, an adaptive program saw him one day and said, why don't you come to Loon Mountain and we'll show you how to use some equipment that's designed for this. So we started to take him to other programs and um, everything we tried, he just outgrew it immediately. In his parents and coach Chris, Tyler had strong partners at his side, giving him great confidence. The young athlete thus soon joined his mentor in the USA's adaptive ski team and began to push him off the podium. Oh no, that's never happened. Wait, lies. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, he has, he has. We know that when one of us is fast and the other one's close, that both of us are fast. A genuine partnership that's far more important to Tyler than just how he's doing himself. At the 2009 World Cup final here in Whistler, he made a mistake and fell. Nevertheless, he supported and motivated his partner in his preparation and went onto the pist with him within minutes of his own failed run. His mistake couldn't be undone. Always look forward is Walker's motto. Um, I try not to dwell on um, my mistakes too much because I know I can ski really well so I'll just train a bit more and go back the next day. That was exactly what he did this time too and ultimately won the 2009 Downhill World Cup. The first to congratulate him, who else, was naturally Chris Devlin Young. What better preparation could there be for the Paralympic Games than to finish the quasi-trial run with such success? I feel really good about this course and uh, this is a big confidence booster. I'm just glad it's out of the way now. I can focus on other things. So um, I'm ready for Vancouver. So. The dress rehearsal went well. Now prospects for the Paralympic Games look golden.